Hey, it's Ridgey102, back again with another Halo Megabox review. This time it is on the UNSC Troop Transport Warthog, the red one. So here's the box. It's got the old red Spartan there. Well, the old Spartan thing, but again, it's red. So there. Um, it's just the camera up. It's only available at Tesco's or Target in America. That's why I've been... That's what I've heard. And if you notice here, Coloured, but it's actually not in the set. This one you can't see if it is, but this one is. But anyway, so yeah, nice box. Looks really cool. Anyway, so this is set number four of the red set um, includes the troop transport warthog, two Spartans, one with a sniper and one with an SMG, a little rock and a mount thing with a plasma sarrow on it, and a brute with a brute shot. Um, 165 pieces, 8 and up. So, let's turn it over. Here we have the red Spartan picture and the brute picture. There's the picture of the little transport warthog, the bio is up there. I'm not going to read it. Um, there's the picture of the tra transport warthog there and the Spartan there. And there's all them. The red camera brick and then the other red set are the Hornet Attack set, I'm going to have to buy a lot of eBay, because it's, yeah, and them too, the weapon packs as well, and the red combat unit, because none of these are in England apart from the troop transport. Well, this one is in Smith's, the Hornet Attack, but I don't know where Smith's is near my location where I live that I'm not going to reveal, so, yeah, anyway, um, that's the box, and here's the set. Got the cameras rolling over them because you know I've got the map now. And just set it down like that. There we go. Right, let's go. Um, I'll do the a little bit first. So here we go. That sounded a bit wrong. Anyway, um, I'll show you this. The rock has been used in, I think, like the old Pirates of the Caribbean set and Dragon sets. And that's just like. On there, go on. There we go. And so is this. This has been used in old dragon sets and all sorts. Um, off. Oh no, the turret's come off. Here we go. Let's put the turret back on. <coughs> there we go. Like that. It's the turret. Looks really cool. There's the brute. The new. The like sort of I can't think of the word I was going to say, but yeah, it's the this the new colour. Is the just brute shot and looks sort of steelish compared to the other ones. So yeah, and he can hold it like that. So yeah, the brute. Here's the turret. It includes the little sand and everything. The turret looks really awesome. It looks better than the one that the UNSC has, the machine gun turret. I'll be back. Uh, right, sorry I had to, like, cut that bit, because I just got called by one of my friends. So anyway, e where was I? Oh yeah, I got back to the brute and that. Right, now on to the Shalad Squad Warthog. And, sorry, I'm just turning the camera all around, just to get that. Nice shot. Right, here we go. Here's the Transport Warthog. Just a 360. You know, it's got the same sort of parts, the new parts as the Rocket Hog. You know, it's got the, these new bits and the new steps and everything. You know, the, it's all red. The red looks awesome. It's got a little bumper here now. But it's a pretty cool feature, a little bumper. So yeah, yeah but it's a pretty cool vehicle to have, especially for your UNSC forces, you know, troop carrier, so yeah. And I have seen pictures of people do, like, sort of modding to this and make it green with the original Warthog, the original Warthog, so you could do that. So it includes these two Spartans, it includes the one with the SMG. The SMG, um, it's, a, it's an okay weapon, it's better than the shotgun, but... Yeah. yeah. So and in, and the other one is the guard the sniper. And the sniper is one of the awesome 
you're gonna see weapons in Megalox, so you know, pretty cool. And this is the Warthog, and it's got the steering well, steering wheel inside there. That's it there. And yeah, uh, it's got the cage. Here's the cage. It's pretty cool. It's made up of uh, these two pieces here. This bit to connect them, and then this bit. This is not printed. This that bit here. It's a sticker that you have to put on. These little bits can come down here, like that, for troops to get in or out. The suspension on the Warthog is normal. Um, I'll just show you how the people can get in. So you can get a guy and like hold the top there, like that, and yeah, looks pretty cool, like that. It's the normal average size to all of the Warthogs, you know. I guess just a bit taller with the um, cage, but anyway. So yeah, this guy is going to drive, just put him back in the driving seat. Like this. If he will go... Now, oh, there we go. He's back in, and he's driving. Right, so I'll just close it then, because I can do it without it. So you've got like a, another red spot, like for the one from the Series 2 Hero Packs, the carbine there. And he can hold, he, you can even make the guys hold this, and they can like sit here and shoot, like that. Then there's these other bits, so you can, and there's the other side, so you can put like a, another red spartan in the other side, like that, shooting. Then you can even get the red marine from the Series 1 hero packs, and he can stand up in here and kill some ghosts with his rocket launcher while driving towards the common outpost and stuff. So, uh, yeah, it's a pretty cool vehicle. I do like this. It's my favourite Warthog so far, out of the Rocket Hog and the original Warthog. Yeah, it's really cool. You know, it has the normal treads and rubber ones. Let's put the brute back on here, like that. So, there's that. So, this has been my review. Oh, yeah, and you can even put elites in here, so I'll just change the Oh no, his hands come off. Why? He's got no hand on that side now. Right, so if you... You can even fit, like, elites on there. If you ever, like, do a paint job on one and make him red. He can hold... Should be able to hold on there. He, yeah. You can get him on there. You could probably fit grunts like this hanging on there. That's quite funny to do. So anyway, this be my review on the Rocket Hog. Not the Rocket Hog. The um, this be my review on the Transport Warthog. Um, hope you enjoyed it. It's a really good set. I would definitely give it a hmm, definitely a five out of five. I'm being generous today. Um, I'll give it five out of five. Really cool set. It comes with a bit of stuff. You know, good to get the little turret and. That's a good piece, you know, to make setting and everything. The Rocky Hogs, I mean, the Troop Transport War Hogs, awesome. So, 5 out of 5, definitely recommend getting it. It's a really good price for only £20. £20 or $20. I, f I don't know how much it is in America, but yeah. So, that's my be being my review on the Rocket Transport. I'm getting these mixed up ones. Um, the Transport War Hog. Hope you enjoyed it. It's been, sorry, it's been very good my hands up today, so yeah. See ya.